always see stories on social media about people that are doing random acts of kindness, and we really get inspired by that here at City Line. So we, our City Line Real Challenge this week is actually to tell us your act of kindness story, put it on social media, use the hashtag City Line Real, and we thought let's talk a little bit about our lives. I know mm -hmm. that sometimes I get this feeling when I do something really nice for somebody, I should never tell anyone about it because I almost feel like that takes away from the niceness. I just want to keep it to myself. But since we're dishing and we're sharing today, let's get some inspirational stories out there and maybe people can learn from it. Yeah, you know, and I, I feel the same way. When you do an act of kindness, you don't need to really celebrate it at that moment. Right, it's, it's like always, the right thing to do, right? It is the right thing to do. And sometimes it's so simple, even just buying the coffee for the person behind you. You know, recently I was working at a community garden here in Toronto at Regent Park, and I met this lovely lady and we had a really great conversation about her garden. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I just said, you know, I think I have some seeds in my car and I also had some other garden products in my car. Mm -hmm. I went to my car and grabbed them all for her and just gave them to her. And you know, her face lit up and it was so simple for me to do. Right, it's such a big deal for her. It was a big deal. I gotta tell you the same at the same time, I did lock my keys in the car. <laughs> But you know what was great about it? I stayed in the community for some time waiting for my wife to bring me some keys. <laughs> And I met some of the nicest people. I right. really did. Actually, it was probably one of the most enjoyable afternoons that I had. That is so cool. Yeah. And it's nice when you can actually get to stop and talk to people. Sometimes you're forced, but it was a great way to meet people, right? I had a coffee sat there, and yeah. people from the community came around, and we just talked. I think that's awesome. And it awesome. was so great. I, whenever I see um, older people, I, I think I immediately think about my parents. I think one day my mom is going to be really old, and she's going to be getting on the bus, and she's going to need some help. One day I met an older woman. Uh, when I used to take the bus between Toronto and Richmond Hill, I was coming home, and she was a little bit lost, and I helped her with directions, and she got off at the same stop as me, and I said, uh, you know, it's kind of cold out. Do you, want, like, do you want something for your hands? She was like, actually, I wouldn't mind. I gave her my mitts, and then I'm like, are you hungry? And she's like, kind of, and we went, and we had, um, we had donuts, and we had coffee. Oh, nice. And I said bye to her, and I never talked to her again, but I thought, what a nice connection in this world of strangers. It is right. nice sometimes to just help.